Well, 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 our friend Fiona Byrne is back in the news. Fiona Byrne is the Mayor of Marrickville, who's on track to score a seat in State Parliament for the Greens Party. I've been very critical of Fiona Byrne for spending ratepayers' money in Marrickville to push a boycott of Israel. She's a local mayor who thinks that she's the Minister for Foreign Affairs, weighing into the conflict in the Middle East. And this weekend, she's on track to knock off Labor's Carmel Tebbit and become the member for Marrickville in State Parliament. But today, she's been caught out big time. I'll explain how, but I want to give Fiona Byrne the benefit of hearing what I'm about to say. Fiona Byrne is on the line. Good afternoon, Fiona. Hi, Ben. How are you going? Am I right? Have you been caught out? Uh, I don't believe so. OK. You published a statement on the Greens' website last week denying that you intend to push for a statewide boycott of Israel if you're successful on Saturday in the state election. Is that right? That is correct. I have no plan or intention to introduce the BDS to state parliament. OK. You, you claim that such an allegation... This is the suggestion. I mean, you've done it in Marrickville. Obviously, you're very passionate about this boycott of Israel and... We obviously passionately disagree on this, but in terms of pushing it into state you're parliament... You're actually incorrect, Ben. I did not introduce the BDS to council. I supported it, along with Labor and Independent councillors and other Green councillors. OK, do me a favour. For the benefit of everyone listening, let's not use acronyms so everyone can follow what's going on. Mm -hmm. So you're saying you didn't introduce it in Marrickville? No, I did not. You supported it, though? Correct. OK, and you're the mayor? Correct. And this Saturday, you could well be a member of state parliament? Well, if we're lucky enough, yes. OK, and you've said that any allegation that you are pushing this, this boycott on Israel towards state parliament is misleading, factually incorrect and a misrepresentation? Correct. OK. So how do you explain this piece of audio that's turned up of a press conference from just a month ago? Let's have a listen. This is Fiona Byrne. It's a New South Wales Greens policy to uh, support the boycott, divestment and sanctions uh, movement, which is a global movement. Um, and I, I would uh, suggest that New South Wales Greens would be looking to bring that to um, forward at State Parliament if we, were, uh, if we were elected. I would suggest the New South Wales Greens would bring that forward to State Parliament if we were elected. My, look, my previous statement could have been clearer, but I have clarified my position. I have no plan or intention to introduce the BDS to state parliament. Yeah, but hang on. You, you've just admitted now for the first time that your original statement could have been clearer. Why then did you go to the trouble of putting a statement on the Greens' website saying that this story was misleading, factually incorrect and a, mi and a misrepresentation? You were having yourself on, weren't you? I, well, I would disagree with you. Um, I have clarified my position that I have no plan or intention to introduce the BDS to state parliament. You said, I would suggest the New South Wales Greens would bring that forward at state parliament. I have already clarified my position, Ben. No, please I, clarify I, it, because I, I no can't understand it, Fiona. I cannot understand I this no clarification. I have no to introduce the BDS to state parliament. The Greens are not campaigning on this issue. The only person campaigning on this is Luke Foley and the Labor machine. OK, so you're saying you have no plans to bring this to state parliament, correct? Correct. However, in that piece of audio, you said, I would suggest the New South Wales Greens would bring that to state parliament. That's up to the party to decide. So I have clarified my position. The get-out no clause here... ...to introduce the BDS to state parliament. OK, just in case anyone's missing the, the get-out clause, and it is hidden in there somewhere, the get-out clause, and this has been confirmed by Mark, who is uh, one of your press officers, he's saying, oh, no, 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 Fiona said she would suggest the New South Wales Greens would do this. Do you honestly think that's a defence? Uh, look, Ben, I think I'm feeling a bit of deja vu here. I have clarified my position. Uh, I have no plan to introduce the BDS to state parliament. Yeah, but Fiona... I think we're going over the same ground. No, here. no, we're not. We're not, because what you did is you fibbed. That's what you did. When, you, when the Australian newspaper uh, printed these, these allegations, you went to the trouble of putting a press release on your website describing them as misleading, factually incorrect, and a misrepresentation when you know that they were on the right track. I have 
again, my previous statement could have been clearer, but I... Well, why didn't you say that then, I instead of going to the trouble of, of suggesting that the Australian was wrong? Again, Ben, I think we're having a bit of deja vu here. I have no plan or intention to introduce the BDS to State Parliament, full stop. OK, so were you wrong to say I would suggest the New South Wales Greens would bring that forward? It's up to the party to decide. Were you wrong to say that, Fiona? Just fess up, were you? Uh, look, I actually have only four days to go until the election, Ben, and I really need to get on with some local campaigns. And you really don't want to admit that you're fibbed. Is that the case? I think I've clarified my position. Okay, and your, and your clarification is, is that you could have clarified it better in the first place. I have no plan or intention, Ben, to introduce the BDS to state parliament. Okay, well, right. someone Thanks who has so no... Someone time, who... Ben. Sorry? Thanks so much for your time. Oh, are you going now, are you? I, n I need to go and campaign locally on local issues. Okay. All right. Well, Fiona, thank you for, for joining me, and, and I appreciate you clarifying that position. Thank you, Ben. OK. Here's Fiona Byrne. She's got to go. Uh, I would suggest that if Fiona Byrne has made a statement that she now admits was not all that clear, it probably wasn't smart to go to the trouble of putting out a press release on the Greens website describing the original report as misleading and factually incorrect, when in fact she's just admitted that she could have made those comments a little clearer in the first place. Anyway, we'll find out on Saturday if Fiona Byrne is headed for State Parliament.